Guard our thoughts, desires, and emotions. Proverbs 4.23 Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. So guard our hearts, because our life, our whole life flows from the heart. If our heart has love for God, love for people, good things will flow from our heart, and our whole life will go better and better. But if our heart is full of anger, frustration, sadness, lust, then bad things will flow from our heart and then the whole life will be destroyed. So our life flows from our thoughts, desires, and emotions. Joy heals us and sadness hurt us, hurts us. Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So if we have a cheerful heart, it will heal the body. But if we have a crushed spirit, it will dry up the bone and make the person have problem. A whole person have problem, health problem and emotional problem. And sadness and worry can destroy God's plan for us. That when we live in sadness, it will destroy God's plan in our life. The excuse of many people having negative thinking and emotions. They will say, someone hurt me, so I have to be angry. We don't have to be angry. Someone hurt us, it's their fault. It's someone's problem now. I use this hand. This is the problem of that person. This is me. I don't have to let his problem come onto me. His, his problem. If I use an illustration, his garbage. Do we let people pour the garbage, his garbage onto us? We won't let people pour the garbage upon us because this is their problem. They have to get rid of the garbage. So we don't let people dump their anger, their frustration on us. If they dump their anger on us, we just don't take it. Now, sometimes we cannot stop people, but we just don't take it. We don't take it seriously. We don't, we're not hurt by it. We say it doesn't matter. Whatever it says, God still blesses me. So this is an excuse. Someone hurt me, so I have to be angry. We don't have to be angry. We can manage it. And then two, my family or my work has problems, so I have to worry. So they say, I have problems, a lot of problems, so I have to worry. Because the Bible teaches us that God knows our needs before we pray, so He takes care of us. Now even though the problem will uh, still stay for a while, but we continue trusting God, and we manage the problem gradually, the problem will go away. It doesn't go away right away when we pray, but we trust in God that we put down the burdens and worries and trust in God. And then um, even when there are problems, we don't have to feel sorry and sad and depressed. Three, God does not help me, so I have to complain. Now, some people, they have the con concept that if I pray for money and the money doesn't come right away, it's God who doesn't love me, so I, I, I have to complain. When we complain, we block the blessings of God. So we have to realize God is the one who blesses. He has blessed us so many times. But many people say, He didn't bless me today. He hasn't blessed me now in my big problem. So that is giving the devil a foothold. So we don't want to uh, complain. Even when we face problem, we say, God will help me and this problem will go away. I just trust in God. And then, Four, I was born to be emotional. Some people say, I'm born like that. I'm always unhappy. Well, sometimes it's a habit. So we need to learn to be joyful and thankful so that we can be, uh, have more peace and joy. Paul was in great difficulties and he still rejoiced. So we can choose our emotions. Emotions depend on internal factors, not external factors. So Paul was persecuted and beaten by people, but he still rejoiced in the Lord. He was put in jail and then he praised God. So we can choose our emotions. We can choose to be joyful and thankful. And emotions depends on the internal factors, what we do with it, instead of external factors. External factors, some people say, people have been to be nice to me and then I'll be happy. But it doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes people mistreat us and then we still rejoice in the Lord. The Lord is blessing me, the Lord is nice to me. I don't have to be bothered by people. And then we can put down uh, the problems of people. <clears throat> so it does not depend on external factors. Emotions are signal lights to distress. So when someone hurt us, we have emotions. We have uh, uh, sadness or anger, 
or frustration but the signal light should not be on all the time it should not be on all the time and say oh uh, the, uh, the person's hurting me oh the person's hurting me oh we don't want the signal light to be on all the time we want to take care of it it's a signal light the emotions is a signal light so when we realize the signal light we want to manage it we want to manage it it's not to suppress the feeling we want to manage it we say it doesn't matter if someone hurts me god will still bless me i can rejoice in the lord and god will be happy when i trust in him so there are ways to handle the problem to turn off the negative words so that we can rejoice in the lord okay and then there is a downward spiral of emotions that uh that it can go down more and more so when people are oversensitive or they are stressed, it trigger the emotions and then they have bad decision. And then more stress and more bad decision and more stress and more bad decision. So he's under pressure and then he makes this wrong decision. He yell at people, he fight with people and, and he, he wanted a divorce, so a bad decision. And uh, when he wants a, more, uh, a divorce, he has more pressure and then he will uh, he will have more anger and uh, he might beat the wife and so it uh, so when we are under stress and then we don't manage it it can lead to more and more bad decisions and this is another uh, spiral of emotions when a person is fatigued very tired so there is he's easily agitated easily uh, becomes uh, angry or frustrated and then he will be this is busy Ness, not busyness is he's very busy his mind is very busy and then he has anxiety and poor thinking and more busyness and insomnia cannot sleep and fatigue very very tired and poor thinking and melts down the person melt down and blow up and yell at people so it a downward spiral of emotions and this don't help us when we're emotional. When we're emotional, this thing will help us. Keep thinking about the problems or the person that affects our emotions. If we keep thinking about a problem with the person, we'll become more and more emotional. And keep thinking that we are miserable. We say, oh, I'm miserable. People mistreat me. When we think about a problem, it will become worse. Keep thinking that it's unfair. Oh, it's unfair that he treats me like this. Think of a plan of revenge. We want to do something back. It will cause more problem and then build up hatred or self-pity hatred for the person or pity on us ourselves and complain to God all this will cause us to have more emotional problem this can help us when we are emotional deep breath so when we are emotional take a deep breath relax take a drink a nap take a nap and some exercise all this will help Talk to God about problems and emotions. Tell God about our emotions and problem. Lord, I'm very angry now. Please help me. I need your help. Lord, uh, in you there is strength and there is peace. Please help me to put down my anger. Oh, I trust in you. Thank you. And sometimes it's helpful to just sing because sing doesn't require thinking. You just sing. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice, rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice, rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice. So we just sing, you know, we can, it can bring more joy. And then sing praises to God or dance to God, it will be helpful. And then express our emotions to someone mature, someone mature, not gossiping. We can, when we cannot manage our emotion, we can say to someone, Oh, I feel very hurt now. But we don't have to talk about the other person. We just say, Someone just hurt me. I feel very sad. I feel very unhappy. It has to be a mature person. Because an immature person would gossip with you. So we don't want to gossip. And uh, so the person can accept a feeling and then we'll feel more, more uh, relieved when someone accepts our feeling. So this is. Uh, people helping us, a counselor, a pastor or a leader would tell them, oh today I feel very hurt to, uh, to tell the person. The person sometimes doesn't need to counsel, we just tell the person and then it can take away our frustration at that time. 
and the person responds with acceptance the person will accept oh I know that you're unhappy I know it's very hard for you now I know you feel hurts and then manage our thinking and emotions so manage the thinking and emotions and we appreciate our own eff effort to improve so these are ways that we can help now of course the most important way is coming to God so now we will talk about this ABC uh, way of the model of uh, emotional emotion management uh, and then we talk about how to how to do it uh, with God so A B C A means adversity or activating events something that causes us to be unhappy or angry and belief when we have a belief now when people have negative beliefs then it will affect them and they will have negative feelings but if people have positive beliefs then they will have positive consequence for instance uh, someone hurt us and then if the person believed that oh God loves me God cares about me it doesn't matter what he said to me it won't affect me and then the consequence will he will be more peaceful but if the belief is that oh nobody likes me I I'm useless everybody dislike me I'm a failure so when the person believe that then he will feel worse and worse so the belief affects our emotions our belief affects our emotions if we believe that God is loving and he blesses us we believe that nobody can take away can take away the blessings of God then we can live in a, the love of God the joy of the Lord and when we believe that he's the source of all blessings okay oh sorry okay now here is um, another way that that the person the the self that uh, he think oh I'm ugly I'm worthless I'm, I'm a failure and then when he thinks about the future I'm hopeless because things will always be this way and the world no one loves me so this triangle of self the future and the world world are the people around him so think of the self negatively and think of the world as terrible the people are terrible and the future is no hope then the person will enter a serious problem of negative emotions so we instead we want to have a self of uh, healthy self-image God loves me I'm, I'm I'm a precious person and my future is blessings because God will bless me when I follow him and then the world <coughs> I can build up relationship with with Christians that I can have support with them and then I can bless the world instead of being affected by the world so five steps to victory be aware of our negative thinking and emotions aware of our negative thinking that we have negative thinking and emotions believe that negative thinking and emotions are destructive it would destroy our life and apply biblical principles to the problem what does the Bible tell me to do the Bible tell me to you know that God is a source of blessings God loves me who can be against me if God is for me who can be against me and then pray to have forgiveness and strength and then choose to have positive thinking emotion and when we have positive thinking God is loving me God is helping me and God is happy with me then we can have positive emotions so 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 whenever we are aware that we have negative thinking negative emotions immediately we want to take care of that I'm aware of that and then I know that the negative thinking emotions are destructive and then what does the Bible tell me to do to trust in God to praise God to rely on God to rejoice in the Lord and I pray for forgiveness and strength Lord give me strength that I can choose to be joyful to choose to be positive and then we choose to have uh, the positive thinking and emotions so we choose to believe that my life is precious God is blessing me and the more I obey him the more he will bless me he's happy with me when I follow him so and then we can be more and more joyful okay now Jesus has positive thinking uh, in Jesus Jesus give us this positive thinking 
These are from the Bible. God loves me strongly all the time, not because of our goodness, but because He is love. So God loves me all the time, so I can be happy all the time because God loves me. And then two, God has a wonderful plan in our lives. We are very precious in God's sight. We are the apple of God's eyes. We are uh, the precious stone on His crown. We are the child on His lap that He always wants to bless me. And, e and then even if we have sinned much, God still wants us back. When we repent, God is super happy. So when we repent, God is very happy. Even when we've sinned a lot, when we repent, God is very happy. And so we can come back to God for strength and for, for joy. And God can help us to live a joyful and fruitful life. He continues to help us if we stay in Him. He will make His plan come true. So God can help us to have the joyful life. I can trust in Him. If I stay in Him, He will give me joy and then uh, His plan will come true. I have hope in God. Hallelujah! So I hope we all believe this. And if Christians believe all this, they will be peaceful and joyful all the time. And God doesn't mind how weak we are. He can give us strength and wisdom. Even when we are weak, we try to be joyful, we cannot be joyful, but we keep trusting in God, we keep praising God. And God sees our heart, and then God will give us more and more joy. And if we can rejoice in God even when things go very wrong. So this is a source from God. How can we have joy from God? It's that we believe that He's the source of all blessings. We believe that his salvation, his blessings are very precious. Habakkuk 3, 17 to 18. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the field, and there be no herd in the stall, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. So Habakkuk has this faith in God. Even when nothing goes right, he will say, I will still rejoice in the Lord and I'll be joyful in the God of my salvation. He gives me salvation. I can rejoice in the Lord. So now here are two, uh, two beliefs. Things go wrong. Here like Habakkuk, things go wrong. But he believes that God blesses, then he has joy. And things go wrong, he doesn't believe. Uh, God's uh, He's blessing him, then he's become sad. Okay, and then thinking about God's goodness changed the thinking and the emotions. Psalm 77 verse 3. Now Psalm 77 is a is, is psalm about a, a psalmist who was unhappy. And how unhappy was he? Verse 3. I remember God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. So he was in a very moody condition. He was sad. And then he said, Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has He in anger shut up His tender mercies? And I said, This is my weakness. So he thought about the goodness of God. And then finally he said, This is my weakness. But I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. So in the years of His right hand that He did great things with His right hand. Uh, right hand means the positive uh, work of God, the blessings of God, uh, that when He assures us. So He think of the years of the right hand of God. I will rem remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will rem remember your wonders of old. So He start to remember the good things of God and then He has more joy. So He was sad and He think about God's goodness and then He has joy. So I hope that we all believe that yes, in the difficult times when we trust in God, God is very happy. This is very important. God is very happy. Now I told you about the interactive prayer. God is very happy whenever I trust in Him. When I'm in trouble, when I trust in Him, God is happy that I trust in Him. So when we are sad, when things don't go right, we say, Lord, You are in charge. You are in control. Everything is in Your hand. I just trust in You. You will provide for me. You will help me. You will bless me. When we trust in that, in God, and then we enjoy God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And then we have more joy and more strength. And then God will start to help us. And God makes us very special people. So here I talk about different uh, ways the Bible helps us to, to have positive thinking. And the 
uh, the this method of ABC just now I show you the ABC so he was sad and then he had the positive thinking then he's more joyful so here Habakkuk things go wrong but then he believes God blesses him then he has joy but some people the things go wrong and then they don't believe God then they become sad so here is showing the the uh, the ABC theory of emotion management that when we think positively then we have believe in God then we'll have more joy and peace and then here that we believe that God makes us very special people when we have positive beliefs first Peter 2 9 but you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who call you out of darkness into his marvelous light so when we believe that we are a chosen generation a, a special group of people a royal priesthood we can bring people to God and bring God to people a holy nation his own special people then we may proclaim the praises of God who call us out of darkness into his marvelous light so God make us special he 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 chooses he make us uh, the priests of God and make us a holy nation his special people so when we have low self-image so here is to help us overcome us low self-image we believe that God makes us very special then we have healthy self-image but when people have low self-image and they continue to feel bad then he has unhealthy self-image so the key to overcome any negative thinking or negative feelings is to have positive thinking positive belief in God that God loves me and I'm special in the sight of God and whenever I trust in him and obey him he's very happy and he will bless me these three things to believe God loves me and God sees that I'm special whenever I trust in him and obey him and repent of my sins and love him and obey him he will bless me so I say this again three uh, three points first God really loves me that God sees that I'm precious God wants to bless me and then whenever I follow him I trust in him he will bless me okay the ABC theory of emotion negative event the rational belief so positive thinking then healthy negative uh, emotions now actually it should be healthy emotions positive emotions and then negative event irrational belief then he will have unhealthy negative emotions okay now here is a way of intervention so activating event and the belief and the see the consequence now sometimes the belief may not be healthy so he uh, here is D disputing intervention to dispute this intervention uh, uh, to intervene with his belief so effect an effective philosophy is developed uh, an effective positive philosophy that God love God loves me God cares about me God is good and then new feelings so even when we have bad feelings we want to change this belief change this belief and then it will affect us to have positive feelings okay and a close relationship with God will bring joy and comfort of the body Psalm 16 8 I have set the Lord always before me because he's at my right hand I shall not be moved therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoices my flesh also will rest in hope so it's very important the relationship with God I trust in God I said the Lord always before me I have a close relationship with God he's at my right hand I will not be moved uh, here it means shaken and then so my heart is glad my glory rejoices my whole spirit rejoices and my flesh will rest in hope my flesh my body will rest in hope and God can bring inner healing when we have sad feelings when we have negative emotions Isaiah 61 verse 1 the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord the Lord has anointed me to preach good new tidings to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to comfort all who mourn 
the oil of joy for mourning. So when we have the Spirit upon us, the Holy Spirit upon us, He has anointed us to preach the good news and then to heal the brokenhearted. So the Holy Spirit will come to heal our brokenheartedness. That when we have a broken heart, we come to God, Lord, please comfort me. And we're just praising God, Lord, you are good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. So when we sing to Him and proclaim His goodness, then we'll be healed and we'll have more joy and peace and He will comfort all who mourn and the oil of gladness. Uh, and then how to do inner healing. That's Now I will have a session on inner healing. But first of all, we we come to God more, we put down our burdens, we forget about our burdens, we say it doesn't matter how people treat me, God will heal me and trust in God and trust in His goodness, trust that God is happy with me. Thank you Lord, thank you Lord, you're blessing me now, thank you Lord, I trust in you, I worship you, adore you, I enjoy you. Then the more we do it, uh, the more we'll rejoice. So it's very important to come to God and at the same time also put down the garbage all the negative things of people and change our negative thinking to positive thinking. That's very important. To believe that God is good to us. God loves us. God cares about us. God wants to raise us up. God wants to do great things in our life. And we can come with confidence to God to get help. Hebrews 4.16 Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So anytime when we are in need, we can come to God right away for help and then clear all the garbage from our hearts. And then uh, here is the motivation to manage our thinking emotions. So first, God loves me. He has planned, a, uh, he has planned to do great things in our lives. Number two, we are precious. We should treasure our lives. We can become great people. And then negative thinking emotions destroy our lives. And it's not worthy to be affected by negative people. And we will regret of our negative thinking and emotions when we go to heaven. So we don't want to uh, regret. We want to get rid of the negative thinking. We want to believe that God is precious. So this is a motivation to believe, uh, to change our thinking and emotions. That God loves me, we are precious. And negative thinking emotions are destructive, so I don't want to stay in negative thinking emotions. And it's not worthy to be affected by negative people. So when these people yell at me, it's not worthy to be affected by them. But we, we don't want to hurt them. We don't want to say, it's not worthy to be hurt by you. We don't have to say that. We want to, we want to uh, uh, say nice things to them. And then if one, we don't manage our negative emotions and thinking, we'll regret that. And emotions are much faster than thinking. So we need to keep managing our emotions because even when we manage our thinking, oh, God loves me, it doesn't matter if He yells at me, but we still have emotions, feelings. So we, it takes time. Now I noticed this one time when someone hurt me. I manage it in the daytime. I praise God. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't have to uh, be affected by the person. It's His problem. And so I feel peaceful. But in the middle of the night when I woke up, I find I felt pressure in my heart. So I know that it's not taken care of yet. So I keep loving God. God, you love me. It doesn't matter what He did to me. It doesn't matter. And you, you wants to bless me. And I keep praising God. And the next night, I did not uh, have this pressure anymore. And so we want to keep working on it until we have positive thinking and emotions. First, we need to manage our emotions before we can help a problematic person. So here, uh, talking to ministers, to people who want to help people. If we want to help people, first we want to manage our own emotions. Before we can go to tell someone that he has some problem. So if someone hurt us, Matthew 18, 15, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. But before we do that, we want to manage the emotions so that we don't come to Him with anger and frustration. We want to manage our emotions first, that we are peaceful and we come to Him peacefully to manage it. And living in God's love brings a joyful life. That 
Psalm 90, 14, O oh, satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. So we can satisfy, uh, be satisfied with God's love and then we can rejoice all the days. The best way to have joy is to stay in God's love all the time. Think about God's love, thank God for His love, enjoy His love. Hallelujah. So I want to summarize here and say that it's very important to manage our, our uh, negative thinking and emotions. And our negative thinking will affect our emotions. And we, everyone will be affected by people sometimes and we, we don't want that to continue. So we want to have positive thinking in us. The positive thinking will change the negative experience so that we can dump the garbage and not to be affected by them and then we can have positive emotions. So when we find someone that he hurts us, then we say, God loves me, my life is precious. God wants to bless me. He, uh, this person cannot take away, steal away the blessings of God, and I can rejoice in the Lord. But we might still feel unhappy, so we keep singing to the Lord, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice, ha 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 ha. So we want to sing praises to God and rejoice and laugh in God. Hallelujah, ha ha ha. Thank you, Jesus, ha ha ha. So. Put down the negative feeling. I've done this for years, for years. I've, uh, God has taught me this method many years. And to put down the negative thinking and to have the positive thinking and not to take the, uh, the action and the words of the negative people seriously. Because they're always like that. They always hurt people. We don't have to take that seriously. We don't have to we don't have to eat it we just let go we say it's not true what God says is true what he says is not true when he attacks us so we say okay God is loving me but he says I I don't like you but it doesn't matter God still loves me and God will bless me more and more so we want to change our thinking so that we can change our, our feelings but some people say well I don't believe that God is blessing me because they are always looking at the negative things he said God has not blessed me, I'm always, I always have problems, I have all kinds of problems. Then they look at the problems and then they say, I have no hope. But we want to look at anything God has done for us, the food He has created for us, the nature, His forgiveness, His health that He gives us, and His presence of Holy Spirit. When we praise God, we experience the Holy Spirit. And we have the joy and the strength from the Lord and the guidance from God. So I say, God has been helping me. God has been helping me. I want to forget about the bad things. I want to remember the good things. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is blessing me. God has blessed me anytime. He will continue to bless me so I can rejoice in the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I hope we all can learn to, to, live, in, uh, to live in the joy of the Lord. And, take away the negative thinking. Some people live in negative thinking all the time. They always say, I'm useless, I cannot do anything right, nobody likes me. These are all negative thinking. We want to get rid of those. We want to live in positive thinking. God loves me, God cares about me, God is blessing me, and then I can rejoice in Him. So I hope you can apply this in your own life and apply it to help other people. So it's very important to be able to help other people with these teachings. So we can rejoice in the Lord because He loves us. So a few motivation. God loves me, I'm precious. And then if I trust in God and, and love Him and obey Him, He'll bless me. If, we, if I have negative thinking emotions, it will cause destruction. So I don't want to, don't want to have destruction. I want to have blessings from God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So we close to the prayer. Now at this point, we can think about anyone that has hurt us. Sometimes it could be our spouse, and we might be angry with that person. Now, even when the person has hurt us, we would want to say, now, it could be our fault. Then we say, Lord, please forgive me. And it could be his fault also. And we say, Lord, help me to put down his hurts. Help me to not to be affected by his hurts. Help me to think of God's goodness to rejoice in the goodness of God. And when we think about the, 
how some people hurt us we think about God was with us at that time God is omnipresent he is present everywhere so when we were hurt by people God was with us at that time and God wants to heal us God has a plan to heal us so Lord help us to bring our negative thinking and emotions to God and we can go back to the instant when we were hurt by people and we say someone has hurt me but I can put it down I don't have to be bothered by that person I can put it down I can count the blessings of God I can rejoice in the Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I love you Jesus I want you Jesus I need you Jesus thank you Jesus you're so wonderful you're so wonderful we trust in you we trust in you Lord Jesus thank you Jesus you're so wonderful oh hallelujah Lord help us to bring our suffering to God when we think about God he wants to heal us even when we were hurt God wants to heal us so we can we know that God is accepting us he's accepting our suffering God cares about our suffering God cares about us he wants to heal us so we can put down our hurt feelings we can rejoice in the Lord and enjoy God thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus you're wonderful you're good Jesus Lord you're wonderful you're good thank you Jesus Jesus is wonderful hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I need you Jesus and you can heal me you can comfort me you can take away our burdens Lord help us each one here to let God take away our sadness take away our negative thinking we want to believe that as the Bible tells us that God is loving us all the time God cares about us and God can give us joy the joy of the Lord is my strength he can give me joy I can rejoice in God I can live in joy every day and when people hurt me it doesn't matter I can forget about it I can dump the garbage I can turn around and praise you Lord Jesus thank you help us to be filled with your joy and your peace and your positive thinking and positive emotions and help us to put down all the hurts of the people all the negative thinking of the people we want to put those down we want to rejoice in you we know that we are precious in your sight you love us you care about us when we trust in you for sure you will heal us when we follow you you'll heal us thank you Lord Jesus thank you Jesus we love you we enjoy you we trust in you hallelujah we rejoice in the Lord always we re rejoice in the Lord always hallelujah in Jesus name we pray amen okay God bless you all and God bless you all and God be with you uh, so tomorrow this time we won't have the session we'll have it Wednesday but it will be according to uh, Kenya time and then uh, we'll resume the training in the future we'll announce it in the group okay if your question you can send questions to me God bless you God be with you hallelujah praise the Lord if you have question now you can send it to me and I can answer the question should be sent in the, uh, the group of West Africa you can send it in that group okay okay God bless you I don't see any question if you have any question immediately you can say yes you know you can say yes and then I'll see that you have questions okay so I hope you learn to how to apply this that this is very precious teaching it's very helpful it came from my own life experience uh, it, it's not it's not from it's it's not just from uh, some theory it came from my own experience that I can dump garbage and believe that God loves me and God cares about me and I'm precious I can rejoice in the Lord I can enjoy God I can have strength so I it all came from experience and I learned to not to take people's negative words seriously 